Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about this one today. I can't wait to show you step by step how to paint this pretty dreamy landscape with some morning glories. Another one of my favorite flowers. So if you guys are all ready, please hit that subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So the colors I'm gonna be using today are the following. Neon Yellow Warm, Neon Rose Titanium White, uh, Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, uh, Light Blue Violet, Black, and some pale green. I'm gonna be starting the painting with one of my filbert brushes. This is a number 30. So we're gonna work on creating the mood for the background first by taking a little bit of white and a little bit of black. I'm getting my brush just a little bit wet to start. I don't know if I remember to mention that. That really helps to get the paint out of your brush and flow on the canvas. Normally I wet my canvas first, but for this particular uh, painting, I'm not gonna do that this time. So I really want to have a little bit more uh, foreground here. So I'm gonna come up higher where the water starts and, and goes back for the perspective. So it's gonna be back here and I'll just work this out of my brush a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more water, okay? So just pulling, using that water to help release the acrylic paint out of my brush. So they really work well together. A little bit of water is all you need. Because the brush holds a lot of paint You'll notice how I'm not adding a lot of paint over here. I feel like I want the some sun rays to be coming in and shining down here. So that's gonna make four more highlights right there in the water. But I'm gonna just load my brush up again a little bit here. And I'm gonna start applying a little bit more, just pulling and then letting off. So it's really about that flick of your wrist. I'm not really, sometimes I'll pull if I wanna go all the way across, but if you wanna do shorter brush strokes, just use your hand and your wrist like that. I'm getting a little bit of water again on my brush and you can either pull up like this and it doesn't matter because we're going to be adding trees back there anyway. So if your paint comes up above that line, it's fine. Because like I said, we've got trees back there. Or you can pull down. This is just going to give us those lines that will help the water look a little more blurry like water. Well, the specific water we want calm, calm water for this painting. I'm gonna use a number 10 filbert brush. I'm gonna get it wet. And this time I'm gonna take black and yellow. Now you wanna make sure that you have more yellow paint than the black because the black is very, very overpowering and this will all dry a lot darker. So these two colors make a really nice green. Okay, so I'm gonna go right across. A little bit more water on my brush. We have a little reflection here in the water. And then I'm gonna start pulling and flicking up gently. Now, I know I need more water and paint on my brush and maybe a little bit less pressure. Now, what we want to do is have these trees go almost off the canvas. We want to have a little bit of sky showing. So we'll pick up a little bit more water again. And you can even, just because we're pretty much just blocking in this color here, 
you can just slide your brush and wiggle like this. Sometimes it depends on the type of brush you're using, the type of canvas you're working on. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And I'm going to start pulling little lines and then tapping. Tap, 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 turn. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to take a little bit more black now without washing my brush off and I'm just going to pull a line down here for some more shadow. I think I'm going to add with this brush a little section right down in here. And our morning glory is going to look really, really pretty. I'll just tap a few little highlights just with that yellow. With a clean brush, I'm going to take white again. I'm just going to add a little white area right in here, a really skinny, long oval. And then I'm going to turn my brush this way and start to zigzag and then leave wider spaces. We're going to bring these a little further over here to the left. Okay, and then I'm going to line up where the sun's going to be shining from. And then a little squiggle, wiggle, 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 tight little wiggles. Okay, I'm going to, before this dries, with a clean brush, take my warm yellow and a little bit of white. Mix the two. And I'm going to start adding this beautiful bit of gold. I think it looks really nice with these highlights in the water and that bit of green. And just be very easy on the pressure and the, the amount of yellow that you're using because uh, it is gonna dry darker and you don't wanna lose that uh, really pretty soft golden glow. And start gently going over. Creating that fog effect. And I'm going to use a brush that's a little bit bigger now. 
So this one's a number 14 filbert. I'll get a little bit of water on my brush. White and yellow again. I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with this very transparent. It's the same amount consistency that you would use. Um, we're not painting sun rays yet, by the way. I know it kind of seems like sun rays, but this is the step before that. So we wanna have that same consistency of, of sun rays. Okay, the next color that I wanna use is my blue violet. I'll take a little bit of white with it. And this I think will be a, a very nice addition in the water here. So I'm just gonna add little hints of this in between. Just in between those ripples and highlights. So a little bit more blue. a little bit of black this time, make it a little bit uh, darker. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to flat brush. I've got this little flat brush here, number 10. I'm going to use it for my sun rays. So I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm going to take just straight white and I'm going to add a little line right here. And just very lightly. come out over the water. If it doesn't uh, flow nicely out of your brush, just use a little bit more water. Okay, to create a bit more of a shadow here, I'm going to take my blue and my black. Let's add a little bit of yellow in there. And we can just add another layer of trees in here. I'd like to I'm just going to use this brush add a few more trees I want to kind of close this in a little bit more I'm going to have some trees coming right above use the corner of my brush now to just tap 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 And it's all dry now. I'm just going to come over top and do the same thing. Add some watered down thin white with a little bit of that yellow just to give it the foggy look like the rest has. 
I'm gonna build this up and I'm gonna add a little bit of my luminous rose. So the blue, a little bit of black, especially in this area here. Take a little bit more of that rose. It's a little bit of black in there. It's kind of making it beautiful raspberry color. I'll add a hint of that in, it's just so pretty. with uh, some of the, the greenery and leaves and vines and I'm just going to use another filter brush this one's a number two so I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm going to take black yellow and pale green so each one of those colors not overly blended and I'm just going to start coming in here in the foreground Right along the edge here. I'll take a little bit more yellow. Both yellow and green. And just make sort of heart-shaped leaves like they have. I'm gonna use a little bit of white just to make sure these stand out a little bit, but still don't want them to be super bright. a brush now to start the vines and this is a size or a number one I'll get it a bit wet and then I'm going to take the yellow the green and the black and I'll just start pulling and making swirls Okay, so I'm ready to start painting the flowers and we're going to start by breaking it down into the basic shapes. So I'm going to take a little bit of each blue and rose and in fact I'm going to add another color to this to make it a more of a deeper uh, blue. I'm going to be adding some phthalo blue and this is by Grumbacher. So let's see how a little bit of this will change it. Okay. 
there, that's more of the color that I want. I'm going to start by making some circles. So I think I'll, I'll add one right down here, and I'm just going to go over this area here. Okay, I'm going to add a circle right here that's not perfectly circular. We're going to just start making our circle look kind of like an octagon. So it's kind of flattening out some of this, the edges like that. Okay, and then I'm going to just take a little bit more of that paint, the blue and uh, the rose. We're going to make it a little donut looking like that. Then I'm going to take some white and we're going to go right here. We'll paint half of that inside of that circle white. And then we're going to take some of the rose with the white and we're going to come right on the other half and gently ease the two together. And then we'll start pulling pulling gently only on the top and the sides of the flower for this specific flower right here. That way the bottom of it, I'm just going to add a little bit more white It'll look more 3D. Wipe that excess off. Very, very lightly. So gently. Pull a few little lines out like that. Very little pressure. Okay, for the next step, I'm going to take a little bit of my blue violet. And I'm just going to come inside here. We're going to leave some spaces. I'm going to add a little bit of phthalo blue and a little bit of that purple. I'm going to make it a, a little bit darker. We're going to start from just about the very edge of the flower petal there and then start to pull in, but we're going to leave some spaces. Those are going to be darker. I'm going to get almost, almost touching the center of the flower. See how it's starting to look quite 3D, three-dimensional already? We're going to leave that space right there. That's going to be dark. those colors up again and right in here and just a little bit of the blue just the blue violet now and you can lightly pull a few little lines Just so gently. When painting flowers, they're so delicate, right? So you want to have a delicate touch. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the darkest color. So I'm going to take straight rose and phthalo blue. This is going to dry, looking really, really dark and rich and velvety. So I'm going to come right here, 
pull out. And we can come around the edge really lightly. Outline as well if you really want to make it stand out even more. And we're going to add a little line, another little careful line like that. Okay, so we can go ahead and start painting all the other ones. So blue, phthalo, both blues, and the rose. And we'll add them on different angles, right? So this one's more, I'm just gonna make this one a little bit pointier. We'll have this one. So kind of flat round and then flattened and we're going to have less petal showing here okay, I'm going to take my white have just a little bit of white right here then and then the rose I'm gonna take a little bit of white with my rose to make it a little brighter we're gonna go out and over slightly like this but then we're gonna stop right here on the sides A little bit more white. And a few gentle little lines. Okay, now I'm going to take that light blue. Add a little bit here. And then come in with the darkest color. Again, the violet and the blue. We're going to make this a little pointy. Some of the ends of them are kind of pointy. And then we're going to gently pull, 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 and then let off. So then you get those little lines naturally happening. Go over some of those right there. A 
I'm going to take more of my rose color. And to outline, I'm just going to outline these petals here with a dark. I'm going to add that splash of beautiful green here with a bit of white. I clean my brush off. Yellow, green, white, a little bit of that black in there just to tone it a bit. I'm going to add a little bit more of that pretty green down in here. A little bit of black in there. Add some shadows. And I'm going to have it facing this way. We're going to make this one flattish right there and then kind of pointy and round it out. Come across. I'm going to make this area in here a little bit darker and I'm going to outline, carefully outline this, a little bit of our dark colors there, the rose and the phthalo blue. Then I'm going to go from here, pull and scoop. You want to aim for these lines to come down into our stem that we're going to have. We're going to have a little bit of a shadow in here. So I'm just going to make that a little bit darker right in there. And we'll continue along. From here, we'll just go straight down. And then we'll start to curve over again. So it's going in all directions, right? Then I'm going to take white. White with a little bit of rose first. Right here, I'm going to make a triangle shape that's skinny and then pull out. Use more white. And it gets really narrow here. for some rows. Gonna add it to those little lines that we pulled out with. Just rinsed out the excess paint out of my brush. Went back for some more rows, and if I happen to have a little bit of white in there, that's okay. So this underneath part of the flower is pinky here, and then it just gets really white. And then a little green on the tip. I'll just take a little bit of green here, a little bit of black.
And there we'll have the stem or the vine. Gonna add some darker lines in here to make this stand out. So I'm gonna outline this here. Pull, pull. Out towards the end of the flower. It'll give us a little bit more depth. I've had so much fun with this painting. I, I don't know if I've ever actually painted um, these types of flowers before. The Morning Glory are, like I mentioned, one of my favorites. I've never had trouble growing them. They've always grown really well for me. And I think I'll have it right here. So I'll add another. Circle. Don't be afraid to come over top of another one. Make a donut. Okay, we'll do this one a little bit quicker. Add our light blue eyelet. Make it striped like that. Then we'll add the darkest color. The rose and the phthalo. I want to make sure that I have it on the tip of my brush. Outline. Take a little bit more blue here. This is the blue violet. Remember, get as close as you can to the edge. Okay, then I'll take my my rose. I'll add it right there. And take some white. And a little bit more. I'm going to rinse the excess paint out of my brush and I'm going to go pull and sweep.
picking off that white, using it. And then I'll take a little bit more rose because right in here, I want it to be a little bit brighter. Back over to my phthalo and the rose. I want to add more shadow right here. So I'm going to close this off a little bit. Back over to the blue violet. I think I want to go back and bring that vine over top. So I'm going to go take my number one liner brush. And I'm going to bring this over. Swirl. Goes behind that one. A little bit of black. a few vines down here. Little highlights. Add some more white. Alright, I'm going to call this one done finally. This sure was fun to paint. I hope you guys want to learn to paint this along with me. Be sure to share yours on our Facebook group. I'll leave a link below for that and uh, check out other links below plus a full list of all the colors and brushes that I use today. There's lots of links below for Patreon, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, and two different Facebook groups. So I'll see you guys all soon. Thanks again so much for joining me today and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye!